डिक्टेशन स्टार्ट इन फाइव सेकेंड्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट लेट एस बी क्वाइट कैंडिड दैट इकोनॉमिकली आवर स्ट्रेंथ डज नॉट विजुअलाइज इन द इमीडिएट फॉरसीएबल फ्यूचर एंड एबिलिटी टू डेवलप एंड सस्टेन द न्यूक्लियर फोर्सेस ओनली टू कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका एंड द सोवियत यूनियन आर इन ए पोजिशन टू डू बोथ दे कैन मैन्युफैक्चर न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स एंड दे ऑल्सो हैव द डिलीवरी सिस्टम इन द बोथ द कंट्रीज हाउ दे आर इन ए पोजिशन टू डू बोथ दीज टू कंट्रीज वुड नॉट पार्ट विद देयर साइंटिफिक नॉलेज इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग न्यूक्लियर एंड डेटरेंट वेपन्स टू अदर कंट्रीज सो नाउ how are you going to produce these weapons the defense minister should apply his mind basically to this question as to what china is aiming at towards india and whether she has any territorial ambitions with reference to india and whether the naxalite activities are the forerunners of such events in india particularly in recent times and also in the last week when a convention of members of parliament we held there has been a general demand that we should manufacture nuclear weapons the people also seem to be saying that they would like the indian government to be in the race if we are going to manufacture nuclear weapons the first question is how we are going to use it for defense whether we are in a position to manufacture these nuclear weapons of defense and offense and whether economically it would be possible to manufacture them i would like to take your mind and the minds of the honorable members of this house to the basic factor that our national income is only 1% of the national income of the united states of america whereas the united states of america's national income is 750 billion dollars ours is only 8 billions can our economy stand and sustain itself in producing nuclear and deterrent weapons as such it is a question to which this house should apply its mind and take a decision i am only placing the bare facts before this government so i have a complaint against the government particularly the prime minister as well as the defense minister that their statements on the floor of parliament have not given the true picture of their own mind to the people and the members of parliament one other important aspect of defense which i would like to place before the house is about the border areas the security of the country is largely reflected on the security of the border areas how we protect them the lengthy mountainous terrain from ladakh to nepal is of permanent significance to india's defense the government i am sorry to say has not employed adequate mountain divisions in those hilly areas to cope up with our defense of the borders if there is a sudden conflagration in those areas we might be exposed to the danger of an attack by the enemy so mountain divisions should be increasingly employed in the border areas particularly in the north east north west and north south area guerrilla warfare technique is at a low ebb with reference to our indian armed forces it should be developed 
and intensified. There is a slackening of progress. I find in the armed forces with particular reference to guerrilla warfare. The defense ministry should insist on a disciplined nationality in the border areas, fomented and maintained with bigger vitality and vigilance. The safety of the nation, everyone will agree with me, is our prime concern. The defense and home ministries have not coordinated their activities with reference to the quelling of fifth column activities in the border areas of the country. And I do hope that in quelling this no quarter will be given to legalistic quibblings.